Saint of the day. So today it's Saint Melito of Sardis. So on this blessed day, the 1st of April 2024, we commemorate Saint Melito of Sardis, a figure of profound wisdom and faith in the early Christian church. Born in the 2nd century in the city of Sardis, located in modern day Turkey, Saint Melito dedicated his life to serving God and spreading the teachings of Christ. Saint Melito is renowned for his eloquence in preaching and his tireless efforts to defend the Christian faith amidst persecution and adversity. As the Bishop of Sardis, he fearlessly stood against the prevailing paganism of his time, advocating for the truth of the gospel and the values of love, compassion and forgiveness. Among his notable contributions is his work in defending the authenticity of the Old Testament scriptures, compiling one of the earliest known Christian lists of the Old Testament canon. His profound understanding of scripture and his unwavering commitment to his integrity continues to inspire believers to this day. Saint Melito is also known for his compassionate care for the poor and the marginalized. He exemplified the teachings of Christ by reaching out to those in need, offering them solace and support in their times of hardship. In one of his notable statements, Saint Melito wrote, The Son of God suffered and died for us. Should we not be willing to suffer and die for Him? So let us take a moment to reflect on the life and the teachings of Saint Melito. May his example of faith, courage and compassion inspire each one of us to live lives worthy of our calling as followers of Christ. So let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the life and witness of Saint Melito of Sardis. May his example of unwavering faith and dedication to your word inspire us to deepen our own relationship with you. Please grant us the courage to stand firm in our beliefs and to serve others with love and compassion. Through the intercession of Saint Melito, May we grow ever closer to you and experience the fullness of your grace. Amen. Brought to you by a friend of Our Lady.